from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. That was one of the more amazing times. Had a lot of friends that lost a lot of animals and a lot of their barns and homes and stuff just out west. And hopefully we don't repeat that, but it was a similar type of year. Very, very, very dry. We had that rain, obviously, that helped us. It saved a lot of us just uh, in the last weekend because of that two to four inches of rain. But it didn't save us from the heat. It's still awfully hot across the areas from north to south. Temperature's been averaging about 100 this afternoon. Last 10 days, again, that swath made all the difference because it has not been good further down to the south. And once you get to I-40 south, it has been a rough go. I've had a couple of my friends uh, that have on Facebook, Gary Brooks, said this is what it looks like. He said, I've had a, a less than a half inch of rain since the beginning of June. June, the faucets just shut off and it was over with and everything still burnt. This was what it looked like. We still have burn bans in effect for multiple counties, so don't be surprised. Just because of rain, that doesn't mean that everything's just all fine hunky-dory and all that. So if you are down Okmulgee County, Muskogee County, McIntosh County, down through the south, this is an area that didn't get hardly any rain. Spotty areas picked up an inch or so, but again, some areas did not. Uh, we're still talking about serious drought more so in the south than it is to the north. And we're talking about down in south, and you go down across the Red River, it's even worse. We think we have it bad, but I tell you what, Dallas is dried out. Uh, last measurable precipitation, last measurable precipitation other than a trace, June 3rd. Hasn't rained since then. There's been 39 days of 100 degree heat. We're sitting at 24 and uh, again, miserable. And as we look at what's forecasted for rain, nothing down in Dallas or in Texas over the next 10 days. So it is a rough, rough go. As far as right now, it looks good outside. It looks blue, kind of crystal clear, but man, it is still sizzling. 101, 106 is the heat index, 34% humidity. We've had a breeze today, so that hasn't been too bad, uh, but metro temperatures are having a hard time dropping off. We're still in the upper 90s, low 100s with 104, Sepulpa 103, and Jinx. And we're looking for our temperatures tonight as they drop off with the south wind. They're not going to drop very far. We do have a boundary coming through tonight through the morning hours to give us a chance. A few showers and storms later tonight after midnight into the morning hours. We'll be in the 70s. And then during the day, slight chances of a few storms. Better chance to be out in western Oklahoma. We'll be in the 90s. So we'll be cooler, if you call it mid-90s, cooler. That's all I got. Uh, 70s as we go on into Friday morning. Again, any isolated storms, probably not in our viewing area per se, unless they're in the Ozarks. Uh, we'll be in the 90s, upper 90s to near 100 as we go on into Friday. And then we head back into the weekend, and we head back to near triple-digit heat around Tulsa and areas to the west. And so that's just what we're dealing with right now. Sunday, looking for temperatures. They'll be again near 100. Now, there will be a few clouds. Isolated shower, a thunder shower could be possible as we work our way on into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's our hope right now. All right, so tonight at 9 o'clock, we're at 94. It is hot. And then we're at 78 tomorrow morning, which is warm. Scattered showers could occur by about 5 o'clock in Tulsa and through the rush hour in the morning. And then at noon, we still have a slight chance of a shower storm that will be moving to the south. And if you missed the forecast, we're talking about temperatures that are, well, you haven't missed anything. <laughs> it's, uh, temperatures are going to still be basically where, they're, where they are. We have some new data, though, that's coming in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time period that wasn't here yesterday that we had a closer to 100. There is a boundary now showing up on several of our guidance models, and there's showing it's going to get close enough. We'll have some clouds, some scattered showers, a few thunder showers maybe on Tuesday. And the one of our models I like to use says, no, it'll be 104. So we're going to go with the 90s for now. For now. Let's just go with the better <laughs> yeah. news. Yeah, I think positive. All right.